Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Salesforce Flows and Easy CSV to import spreadsheets and create new records if needed and stop um, if the record already exists in Salesforce. So maybe you have a spreadsheet that gets updated every day and there's only a couple new records every day and you only want to make new records in Salesforce and yet you want to drop the other ones. So in this case I have this spreadsheet that has both NASA and SpaceX in it. In Salesforce, I already have an account for SpaceX. Um, this account has some details like the name, the website, this custom field that I call external account ID, whatever they are that tells you whatever you want to use to say this info in the spreadsheet already exists as a record in Salesforce. In this case, it's accounts, but you can do this with contacts or opportunities or whatever um, Salesforce object you want. Um, so eventually we're going to import the spreadsheet using Easy CSV, which is our tool. But first we want to make the flow that we're going to submit these records to. So if you go into your setup, you know, you can just go to, you can uh, click your gear here and go to setup. And as long as you're on the right um, Salesforce level, you can see in the left process automation and then go to flows. We're going to click new flow here. We're going to say auto launch flow, no trigger. That we can test with the API, which is what we're going to use with Easy CSV to send the data from the spreadsheet. So we'll click on that. Cool, now we have a new flow that starts and stops. Okay, so it's going to be auto launched from an API call. The first thing we want to do is we want to see if a record exists. So we're going to say get record. And later you could, you could update instead of stop. Like if you want to create new records or update existing, you could also do that. In this case, we're just going to stop. Um, but they have um, places you can, um, or, or actions that you can use for update. So let's do find existing account. Don't need to change that, just click over to it. You're going to figure out the object that you're doing. Like if it's, we're going to do accounts, but you can do contacts, right? There's contact here. Whatever the Salesforce object you want to make, you can just do here. So we're going to do account. Cool. And we don't want all. Well, you could do all. Kind of. This is this is how you decide your logic needs to be for what you need to look up to be. Usually, it might be just one field is used to look up if the record exists or not. Maybe it's the name. Maybe it's the website. Maybe it's the domains of emails or something. In this case, we're going to do any condition is meant. We're going to do or logic. So we're going to say if the name equals a value, we're going to send in from the spreadsheet. So we're going to say new resource. We're going to say it's a variable. The variable is us sending um, the name from a spreadsheet. We're going to call this, um, yeah, let's just call it whatever, this account name. But we can you can name it whatever you want. This is going to be an input variable into the flow that you set from your spreadsheet. I'm going to say text here. If you choose date or date time, you have to pass that in a certain format that Salesforce expects. So you can use Easy CSV to massage your spreadsheet into that format. If it's not in the right format, we're just going to do text. I'm going to say available for input and output. You need to select available for input, which means the external API call, which is easy CSV in this case, can send the data in this variable name, and it can be used in the flow to do lookup. Available for output, I think, means other steps in your flow can use this same variable, which I do need to use it if I need to make the contact. I need to use the name. So I'm going to click Done here. I'm going to do another or here where website, I'd love to look up website, you know, if website equals, you know, something I want to pass in here, I'll call it, you know, web address. You can really name it whatever you want here. Uh, I'll do text, I'm going to do input output again. We'll do another condition, we'll say, you know, the external, this, this custom field, you know, if that, if any of these are found, then we're going to say that the record exists. So we'll also do this, you know. Maybe we'll call it user ID in this case. Done. Okay, so now we can pass three values in name, website, external ID, which is user ID, um, from an API call to trigger this flow. And if any of those exist on an, an account, it'll find it. So we only want to get the first record in my case. I'm going to restore the field. It's cool. Yep. So we'll done cool so now it's going to find that if we do it okay so now we need to have a decision here of you can go to decision and you can say 
um, fork if record exists. So we're going to say new outcome, we're going to say continue. We want the flow to continue and make a new record. Or we can just say if all conditions are met, we can say this is the output of the find um, find step. So if we find something, right, we're going to say is null true. It's kind of kind of backwards. If if the step that was to find a record did not find a record, meaning is null is true, then continue because we want we want to create a record if it is null, right? If we didn't find a record, that means we get a null result, and therefore we want to continue and make a new record. For default outcome, we can just leave a default outcome and click done. Okay, so now you get this branch here. For default outcome, it means that we found a record, so we want to stop, right? So if if a record is found, we're not going to do anything. You could add a step here to update a record if you want, um, but in this case, we're just going to stop. So the continue one, we're going to continue and create a record. Okay, so we're going to say create new account. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to say we're going to create one record. We are going to use separate resources. We're going to say we're going to create an account. Now for the name field, we want to choose, you can choose the variables from the previous step right here. So we're going to choose account name for website. We're going to choose the website variable we set up, web address. Then for external, we're going to choose that variable we set on the previous one we called a user ID. Um, now let's say that those are were just used for the lookup values. We don't have all these other values that we want to set on the account. Like maybe we want to set billing city, okay? And we want to pass that in from, from the external API call or easy CSV from the spreadsheet, right? So we're going to click new resource here. We're going to say we want to make a new variable and we'll call it, you know, billing city. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to say it's text again. We're going to say available for input. You don't have to do output if you don't want. I'm just clicking on both because this is my flow and I'm doing it. So cool. That's it. So now you should be able to set billing city, user ID, web address, account name from an external API call, which we'll use easy CSV to do. So click done. Okay. So now we have a flow. The flow will be launched from an API call from easy CSV for each row of a spreadsheet. We'll look up if the record exists. If the record does not exist, it's going to stop. If it if it does not exist, we will continue. I'm sorry. We will continue and create a new account. If it does exist, we're going to stop. Okay, so we're going to click Save. We can call this um, Flashy New Account Creator. Cool. Save that. It's going to activate. Cool. Now, before you make API calls or use Easy CSV or whatever you're going to do, I would really encourage you to debug, use the debugger here, because if you start making API calls and something doesn't work, you don't know if it's your flow or if it's the thing calling your flow. So in this case, right, we already have a SpaceX account. So if I click debug, I can set these values. So let me just set SpaceX as this is simulating the call from outside to start the flow. So I'm just going to put SpaceX here. What I would expect is it would find the account and then stop. It would not create a new account. Okay, so then when you click debug, it says, okay, we're gonna find a new account. It found a record, that's great, it found the SpaceX record. Okay, so then it says, oh, the, the outcome conditions, the account is null is false, it's not true. So the default was executed and it stopped. That's exactly what we wanted. It found a record, made a decision and stopped. Okay, so if we click debug again, we put in NASA. Now we expect this to not find a record and create a new account. Um, I'm going to set Houston. I'm going to set cookies123. I'm going to set nasa.com, which is not the real website, but we'll do run. OK, look, now we found an existing record, did not find a record. So then it goes to decision. 
it says, oh, it's going to do the continue decision because the record is null. And then it creates a new account. So then we can go over here and we refresh Salesforce. And bingo, we have a new account. This must have been another account I had made previously. <laughs> Let me delete that one. Something like that. And if we go to NASA and you go to details, you see that I made cookies, Houston, NASA, perfect. So let's delete this one. Cool, so it looks like the flow works perfectly. Um, all right, so this one is active. So now let's go, let's let's call this flow for every row in a spreadsheet. So here's our spreadsheet, okay? It's only has two, right? I deleted the NASA account. Okay, so now we only have the SpaceX account again. I wanna import the spreadsheet for every row. I wanna hit that Salesforce flow. And so for the SpaceX row, I expect it to stop. For the NASA flow, I expect it to make a new record with NASA, the website's nasa.gov, and the UID is one, two, three. Okay, so, in Easy CSV, you start setting up an import page and flow. You can just drag your CSV file an example. Maybe it's got one record, it's got two. This is just for setup. In this case, I have it in a Google Sheet, and I have my Google account connected to Easy CSV, so I can just type in the name of the sheet. Cool. Let's see. So flash account import. These are the columns from the spreadsheet. Click next. We're going to say when we import the spreadsheet, we want the destination to be Salesforce. Um, when you when you make a new uh, flow, you get this nice page where you can drag and drop files if needed. You can automate grabbing files from FTP, Dropbox, Drive, wherever. So if, if you ever need to just like do a daily pull of a file to make new things, we can do that. You can send emails to this. But let's go up to the import flow. The top is how easy CSP can get files, like I just mentioned. The middle is the configuration. You can filter out bad data massage data, like if you need to change date formats into what Salesforce needs, you can use our virtual fields to do that. And the bottom is sending it to Salesforce. In this case, at default, selected making a lead, so let's change that to flow, save. On the Salesforce flow, we're gonna click choose. If you've connected to your Salesforce account, which I have, you'll see all your flows here. We're gonna do, and make sure, if you don't see it here, make sure you go in here and make sure you've clicked activate. Okay, and every time you save, there's a gotcha. After you save, make sure you activate the latest one you've just made. Okay, so we're gonna choose Flashy New Account Creator. And the last step is to map the spreadsheet columns, right, to the Salesforce fields. Easy CSV will display the fields for the flow that you've made as input fields, right, in the flow. In the flow, We've made input fields in the search step, these three. And then we actually made some extra ones here on this later step, right? So on the lookup step, you're just gonna make the fields I use for lookup. On the later step for create, you're just, you're gonna make a bunch of things. Like maybe it's, maybe you wanna set billing country here. Well then make a new field here for, you know, country. You know, it's just text, make sure it's input, output, done. So now here's a new field that you can set from Easy CSV. So we're going to save as, right? This will save a new version. We're gonna activate that. Okay, now if you go back in Easy CSV, you see that billing country is not here, or country. So we refresh and there it is. That's the one we just made. So we'll put name here, we'll put sil City, we don't actually have a country in the spreadsheet. I was just doing that for demo purposes. External ID is the column in the spreadsheet, but we've called it user ID in the Salesforce flow and web address, we call it website. Okay, save that. Cool, now you're ready. So I'm just gonna, you can either just download the CSV and just drag it right here onto the page. In my case, I'm gonna search for it, but you can automate this. You can send attached CSV files to Easy CSV to automatically send to your flow. You can use our scheduled fetcher to go get files on a schedule. Um, we also have an API where you can send files into. So let me find this sheet here, new account tester. So this has two records in it. Once you click import, those get queued up. You can go to that report. You'll see they're waiting to process. This one processed really fast. It 
completed two. This is an example email you'd get. If you refresh this, you see what's successful. You see the data that was actually sent to Salesforce. If you go back to this import page at the bottom, you see a log as well. So then if I go over to recently viewed accounts, if I refresh, NASA should be here, and there should only be one SpaceX. Cool. So I made the new NASA one. You see UIDs123 and NASA.gov. So that's how you make a really simple lookup if a record exists, make a new one if it doesn't, and otherwise don't do anything. Uh, if you need any help, reach out to EasyCSV support via chat or email. Thanks.